Nintendo Wii here and welcome to Let's Play Retro Games. Before I start this video I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Games You Loved for allowing me to upload this video to their community and for doing a fantastic job with the retro gaming community in general. It really is great and I'm so glad to be a part of it so thank you very much. Now a bit of background before I start this video, I've been collecting games for pretty much as long as I can remember. Basically every Christmas and every uh, birthday that I had growing up I'd always sort of accumulate more and more games and since then I've been going back and picking up all the games that I used to have and all the games that I'd used to read about in old gaming magazines and stuff and I've really built up quite a nice collection. The last time I did one of these videos was back in 2011, I think, so I've got quite a lot more since then. I'm actually on over 2,000 games now and still going. I do want to sort of concentrate on one or two specific systems in the future. I haven't quite decided what they're going to be yet. Maybe Game Boy, because as you'll see, I've got quite a nice Game Boy collection going. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this tour of my game room. So the first thing we come to in the room are these really nice little posters that I've got. There's a Mario Kart one and a Kirby one and this amazing Breath of the Wild poster as well. And down here we have some Game Boy Color games and a nice little display stand that I picked up for Game Boy games. And next to this you will have seen this in the background to a lot of my videos. This is my uh, display cabinet for my Game Boy games. I'm really happy with this, it looks really nice. And up the top I've got just a few boxed games. The other boxed Game Boy games aren't here at the moment actually, they're stored in the loft back in my parents' house. There's actually quite a lot of games in my collection that aren't actually here, so although it says I've got over 2,000 games you won't actually see them all. So here's a look at all my Game Boy games in the display cabinet. Uh, some really nice games in there, like I said at the start, one of the collections that I really want to focus on going forward is the original Game Boy, because there are so many amazing games. And there we have a Retro Freak, which is the console I use to get most of my gameplay footage. And there's also a Vectrex underneath that. And there's the PC Engine Duo and the Super NT. Um, the PC Engine Duo is there because I just did my Turbo Graphics and PC Engine collection video. And there's my 27-inch 5K iMac that I use to edit all my videos on. And underneath here is a few handheld systems. There's my really nice Miku Edition PlayStation Vita that I picked up in Japan the first time I went there. Uh, there we go, there's the Pokemon Edition, Edition 2DS. And next to that we have the Sega Saturn hooked up, hooked up to a really nice Sony PVM uh, broadcast monitor that someone at work was really kind to give me. And that does look amazing for retro games. And on the other side of the room here we have that really nice Illusion of Gaia poster that I got off Reddit Secret Santa. And there is a PSP with a really nice uh, back drawn by my friend Charlotte, you might have seen her in some of my videos. And here's some of my GameCube collection as well. And at the top of this there's a few little boxes here and these have all my DS and 3DS games in. A fairly nice way of keeping all the games together, but it is a bit of a pain to open them all up and look through if I'm looking for one thing in particular. But I do have a lot of DS games and that was the best way I could think of displaying them. And next to them there we have my little uh, business cards that I've just finished making so hoping to hand them out at events in the future so if you see me um, definitely stop me and I'll give you one of them cards and we can have a chat about retro games that's always good. And in these drawers here there's a few games and controllers and stuff. This one's got a lot of uh, loose Mega Drive and Genesis games. I saw the Master System converter in there as well. In here we have Hyperplay RPG magazines, a really great magazine and the guy who writes it is really cool as well. He's been at the London Retro Market a few times so I've had the chance to actually speak with him and I did buy a game off him last time I was there as well which is really cool. And underneath there are all the Switch Player magazines. That Pokemon one at the front there, the cover was actually drawn by my girlfriend and she also did the Donkey Kong Country one more recently. And I'm sure you're familiar with this view here. This is the backdrop, the backdrop to most of my videos. Um, and at the top here we have a lot of DS and 3DS games and behind them games at the front I think I'd try and show you that's also full of DS games back there as well so I don't keep the games in the boxes though I keep the games in them little display cabinet things and here's one of my Japanese games shelves this one has a lot of Super Famicom games and there's my signed copy of Chrono Trigger um, I'm really lucky to have that I'm really really proud of it and behind there are some PlayStation Vita games. Not as many as I'd like, I haven't got that many Vita games, but it is a great console. 
And here's my PC Engine and Sega Saturn games, Japanese ones, and some Leafs Hue cards as well. And underneath there we have a few Super Famicom games, Leafs, the rest of them are in a box um, on the floor which you'll see a bit later on. I did just do my collection video for this system so if you're interested definitely go back and have a look at that. And above here we have a, a Rescued actually, DSXL, and behind that we have a Wonderswan Colour with Klonoa inside. One of the only games that I've got for the system, I'd love to get some more but it's kind of hard to go back and play it now. The the screen's really not very good. I've been too used to having backlit screens for too long, I think. And there's just a few um, Virtual Boy games. Well, Virtual Boy isn't actually here. Again, that's back at my old house. I'd love to bring it up at some point, but as you can see, I'm kind of running out of room. And there's some uh, steel book, steel book uh, cases for some 3DS games. Um, just a few Japanese GBA games. And on this next shelf down, I have uh, some of my boxed NES and SNES games. The rest of them are in the box in the loft back at my old house, as I said before, but these are some of my favourites. You can see Mega Man 4 at the bottom there. My absolute favourite of all the Mega Man games. And a few, a few original Famicom games across there as well. And a few N64 and SNES games all in their boxes too. And underneath there, here's some of my Wii collection. The other Wii games are on the other side. I really love the Wii, it's a very underrated console in my opinion. And I'm sure you can tell I love it due to my username, Nintendo Wii. And there you can see a really cool signed copy of Mario 64 by Charles Martinet. I've actually been lucky enough to meet him twice now and he's such a great guy. Really cool. And underneath that we have some Master System games and a lot more N64 games that are lined up across the top there. I haven't done a Master System or N64 collection video yet, but I do plan to in the future because I've got some really cool N64 games, in fact I've got almost all the ones that I actually ever wanted, which is great. And under here is just a very small amount of PS2 games. I do own a lot more, but none of them are actually here. Um, I'll see if I can find some pictures of my PS2 collection because there are quite a lot of them. And underneath all these random boxes are some PS1 games, as you can see there. Not my favourite system, because I was sort of a Nintendo kid when the PS1 was out, but I do appreciate it for what it is. And in this box here we have some loose NES games, another system that I'm planning to do my collection video for in the future, and in the rest of that box is um, Super Famicom games, also loose. And here's all my loose PAL games. Now if you're wondering why I, why I haven't done my loose PAL games collection video yet, it's because there is a lot of them and I want to try and get gameplay for every game that I do in these collection videos. And there's just a few console boxes there, there's my God of War PS4 Pro and VR with the aim controller right there as well. And coming up the side here we have some Mega Drive games and some Dreamcast games. The rest of my Dreamcast games you'll see a bit later on, amazing system. There's some more Mega Drive games there. Um, and all the way up to the top here. There's Thunder Force 3, one of my only actual Genesis games for the system. Although the system is region free so it doesn't really matter. And then at the top here we have my nice uh, anime figures collections and some random boxes at the top there, just some special editions and stuff that I've picked up over the time. And some more Mega Drive games coming back down on this side. So let me know in the comments if you see any games that you really like, some of your favourites. I'm planning to do a top 10 Mega Drive games video very soon, so if you like the Mega Drive or the Genesis, definitely look out for that one. There's a few more Dreamcast games at the bottom there. And behind this box I just have some Blu-rays and DVDs. Nothing too exciting, that's kind of why they're all hidden away at the bottom there. And on this next shelf up you can see a SNES there and some uh, game soundtracks. And then at the back here we have all my boxes for the GBA games, at least the ones that are in fairly good condition anyway. I've got a lot more but they're basically all falling apart so I just thought I'd put the actual good ones out there. And here's my Sega Saturn collection and the rest of the Dreamcast games next to it. Two amazing systems, I really love Sega and it is a shame that they're not around anymore. And here we have my Wii U and PSP games and in front of them we have all my Switch games. Really happy to have a lot of these games. The Wii U is a very underrated system as well in my opinion. Um, definitely recommend getting one, I'm sure they're fairly cheap as well now. 
and there's a ton of great games for it. And of course, the, the Switch is turning out to be an incredible console, so I'm really happy with that. And on the next shelf up here, we have the rest of my Wii games, and there's The Last Story and Pandora's Tower in the steel cases. Really happy to have both of them games, they came out right at the end of the Wii's life. And there we have the Superboy, it's the original version of the Superboy, so it's not great, but I do like having it. And there we have my first for figures knight statue as well, with the light at the back. It was very expensive, but I'm a huge fan of the Knights into Dreams series, so I just had to order it when I found out that they were doing one. Yeah, so in these drawers here we just have a few more controllers and wires, and same with the drawers on the other side, which I didn't actually look through, but you're not missing out on much. And there's some Sega Saturns and Dreamcast. I've got a lot of other consoles that won't actually fit in here, so they're all in storage at the minute. So that's all the games that I've got in this room, but now we're going to go through into the other room and take a look at my setup in there. So thank you very much for watching so far, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And now coming out into the hallway we have lots of nice pictures on the walls. I'm really happy to actually have my own place now so I'm not just limited to a game room. It's sort of become an entire game house. As you can see there our fridge even had Mario magnets on it. So here we go, we have two TVs both hooked up so we can play multiplayer games together. It's really great having both the screens right next to each other so we can play online in the same room. Which a lot of games these days um, you have to play online to do two player. So you can see here, there's my PS3 and my Mega Drive at the bottom there, and Wii U, and there's our parrot, Pappy, <coughs> saying hello. And here's our PS3 and 4 games. That's actually two rows deep. I do have a lot of PS3 games, but I don't have the room to display them all. And there's um, just a lot more consoles, really. There's a GameCube, there's my PS4 Pro and the VR headset. I absolutely love PSVR. If anyone's thinking about getting it, definitely recommend it. And there's our two switches side by side there, so really cool, really happy to have all this and really lucky to have our own place where we can just sort of spread out and just really enjoy it. And here's a little cabinet with some gaming books in. You can see there's the three untold history of Japanese game developer books which are just amazing. If you haven't read them I highly recommend it because they're fascinating reads. And here's some of our Pokemon and some more figures that we've picked up over the years. There's quite a lot of them. And there's a really nice display cabinet on the other side, which I'll get to soon, which has all our amiibos in. So, and there Pikachu fell over. So that's actually the end of all the games that I'm showing in this video, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know some of your favourite games that you've seen in this collection. If you guys have any of your own collection videos that you've done, leave them in the comments and I'll go and check them out. It's really great to be a part of this community, as I said before, and I really do just love talking about retro games and game collecting in general. And so thank you very much for watching. So thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that game room tour. Definitely subscribe to my channel for loads more videos coming soon, I've got a great list of videos that I want to do for the rest of this year and beyond. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.